most silent intro we've had for a while now. Mm-hmm. Probably because we don't have that many people with us today, but we've got enough. Hopefully, maybe. Mm. It's, a, it's weird, it's going to be a lower energy kind of session. And it's also a boss fight. <laughs> Oh, man, it's going to be a medium energy one, because uh... we've, we've got the high energy. <laughs> All things in measure. <laughs> All things in measure. Oh, trust me. Uh, let's see. Give 45 minutes. I mean, to be fair, we will be having Rocker pop in eventually, too, so. Mm-hmm. So, anyway. so wait, who, is, who is it entirely we're missing? We're missing Rebecca. Uh, we're missing yeah. Raka uh, and we're missing Michael. That's it, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, Raka will be late. Rebecca I haven't heard from today, so I don't know. Uh, and Michael did message me saying that they're catching up on housework today. But they'll be back next week. Okay, so... So we've got four people it's... to fight the boss. Sometimes. It's less, it's less so that we've got a lot. It's, I think it's like we're missing Rebecca is the thing. Yeah, yeah. Rebecca, Rebecca, there's this empty little mini little empty void. <laughs> of... I think it's I think it's also because I'm just used to by now. Like as soon as I hit record, odd noises just flying around everywhere. <laughs> and oh, well, also... if, if you want odd noises, you could have just fucking asked for odd noises. Oh boy. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. everyone, and welcome back to the Devil Darlings. <laughs> Uh, Missing our gay tiefling. <laughs> currently. Yeah, yeah, that would explain a lot, to be fair. I really hope she's back by Tuesday for Dark Tides of Rune Terror. Otherwise, mm. that's going to put a bit of a dampener on the whole thing, given it's her plot line that's happening now. Oh, have, a, have a beach episode. No, they haven't met Zoe yet to uh, excuse for <laughs> teleportations. Yes, let's have a beach episode in the icy cold area of the northern continent. More so, That'd be so great. More so, have a beach episode with the one character who hates even walking on sand. Yep. <laughs> yep. Well, that's, I think that's, that's all just a perfect reason to have it. I mean, there are such things as like pebble beaches and such. It's, yeah. it's sand PTSD. <clears throat> anyway, uh, I that think page. given we've not got that many people today, we can do a thought of confidence in not doing the intro. <laughs> I'm a kobold with a shotgun. Da, 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 da. <laughs> oh no, Yules has taken a level in. <laughs> <laughs> I've taken a level in artifacts, so how do they have bitches? <laughs> Actually, no, I'm, I'm still just a druid. Not a very really good druid, now that I think about it, although I am a wildfire druid, so I'm burning things to the ground is like 95% of this the subclass's job, so I, I feel like I'm a good druid. So, last time, you need us defeat us. And. Because some of you needed to recover, especially Trixton, who almost died. You all took a quick trip to Alo's mirror world. Or more so like the mirror house. <laughs> where you met their unseen servant. You... Time, memory golem, not yeah, unseen memory servant. golem, that's it, sorry. The memory golem that was in a very familiar shape. Uh... Trickstone glanced a few gravestones outside of the window and got a few encouraging words from a certain fallen member of the party. And in general, everyone was like, oh, this is a bit weird because it was quite essentially a mirror version of Alos home. Aside from Grace, who Grace had never seen it before. I'm trying to think what else happened. I think that was pretty much shit, weren't it? Like, uh, it was just a lot of conversation and a lot of downtime. Yeah. Uh, I remember Banfleth has... Okay, so these were the rooms. Banfleth had taken some time to drop roots down the hall here, so that you can climb up and down it. 
That's where all the bigger major heartbeats were heard. And I believe we ended last, last time session with you all having exited the mirror and preparing yourselves to descend down. Also, since I just realized. Yules is also now here. Yep, Yules is just going to uh, pop out of uh, the baby carrier. Stretch a bit. Ah, oh, that was a good nap! What I miss? <laughs> what I miss? Uh, aside from being in my mirror, nothing much. Oh. I feel like I missed a lot more. I mean, okay. <laughs> Tristan just kind of looks down at you, gives you a critical look. It's like, how did you not even feel any of the acid? Uh, unlike you, Tristan, I'm actually somebody's favorite child. <laughs> Sorry, that's just mean. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you can say it when they're not here. Yeah. <sighs> so, as you all head to gather at the hall, Dress says that she'll keep up top just to keep an eye on things. Make sure no one's going to sever the vines, basically. Banfliff and Trixton will stay up top as well until needed. How about the rest of you? Oh. I don't really know where it's going on at the moment, so I'm just going to follow. Okay. I'll follow. Might as well go down the hall. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, sorry, I, I'm just like, thank you for someone saying they're going down the hall, because if you're like, I'm going to follow, I'll be like, okay. You're all following, none of you have gone down. <laughs> Just aloe goes out the door <laughs> instead of down the hole. So, you're all descending downwards. Let me just pull up this here because I have actually written stuff for this. So, who's <clears throat> climbing down the vines and who's doing something else to get down? Uh, did I get any rest between last session and now? Yeah, last yeah. it was a long rest. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, so I got all my spells back. Uh, but, but I'm just gonna spider climb. Okay. That's what I was just checking because I have made notes here saying anyone that has climb speeds do not need to make a roll for this part. Uh, everyone else that is climbing down the vines, I'm going to need athletics checks. One second. Okay. So I'm just getting familiar with my spell list here. It's been a hot minute. Oh god, I just realized we've got a good reason for why Cody's low energy this session. Because if I recall right, Cody ate all of Grace's depression. <laughs> <laughs> I did. So that's why it's just affecting them with that. Okay, so, yep, you're both making it down. Uh, Miasma's just walking down the fleshy walls. Uh, Miasma, underneath your paws, you can quite literally feel the walls just pulse with, like, a heartbeat as you're climbing down. Yolds is going to be Yolds, which is too lazy to do it himself, so he's going to be riding on Miasma's back. <laughs> Okay. Uh, given I've made a thing here saying that I'm not going to add levels for that or climb speeds need no roll, that's fine. It's just going to take you a bit longer to get down given the extra weight. But you do feel like a bit of pressure on your back, Miasma, as you realize yours is sta sitting or standing. Oh, he's laying down. If she's if she's horizontal, he's laying down on her back. <laughs> yep. 
you've got a cobalt laying on your back as you're walking down, Miasma. Is there any reaction to that? Oh, she's muted. Was there any reaction to that, Miasma? Yes, my oh my God. Every time, fucking mute, mute, everywhere's muted. Fucking microphone's muted, Discord's muted. Why was I muted? I don't know. <laughs> she just, uh, she doesn't really give too much rest. She just looks back like, you're lucky you're alive. I think I messed up her voice, but she's like, you're lucky you're alive. I'm light and adorable. Well, the second one is down to uh, frown, frown if you disagree with me. I can't properly do that, and you know it. it exactly. Exactly. Ah, it's so good. It's so good to mentally do that to I me. I could just turn upside down, and you will fall, fall off. You, you could want? just turn upside down, and I'll just cast a fireball right side up. <laughs> We're all sacrificing things here. Fine. She just continues walking down. Okay. And as you all <laughs> manage to get down to the bottom of the vines, I'm going to move us over to the map. It's been so long since I played the old, so expect him to be very obnoxious <laughs> today. <laughs> it's so long since I played me Alice, but so don't worry. She's going to be playing luck. I'm going to need you all kiss. Good damn it. to drag yourselves. Here at the bottom. Like bottom middle. Holy shit! <laughs> it won't let me drag still, so I... I'll drag you on. Thank you. Hey, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> why why have why are we in the fucking meat circus from Psychonauts? Oh look, I multiplied. <laughs> oh, never mind, it's gone. So yes, you would all be down there. Is there anyone else I need to drag on for this? No, I believe that's it for now. Because they, as I said, the others are staying upwards. So yes, as you drag your, as you get to the bottom of the vines and look around, you see what was the cause of the heartbeat. When did this campaign this large... become God of War? What, sorry? <clears throat> when did this campaign become God of War? <laughs> As you reach the bottom, and you look across at the bone structures, and the pulsating walls, and you see hanging high above around roughly, how high did I say this thing is hanging up? Uh, 30 foot high above you, a large fleshy heart-like structure with faces just etched into it, screaming out in pain. One particular one dominating the middle, like a large canine-like face. <clears throat> Looks like Lou's having some heartburn. Beyond that, well, you can also see what seems to be... Like, across the walls, you see what seems to be a bit of neuron influence around the walls. Like, just little flashes of electricity. All which seems to be leading to, behind it, deep in the acid pools. You also seem to see what seems to be. You should be a bit more up there. These little odd fleshy creatures that sure seem to be made out of an odd thick white substance. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not that. Sorry. I'm sorry, Lee. I'm really tempted to do something right now. <laughs> what are you tempted to do? Fuck, it's it's just it's, it's just gonna be like um one second. Root my sheet. Just fuck you heart attack time. Yeah. I mean you'll have to do that on your turn. Yeah. Miasma rubs her hands together. Clear <laughs> <laughs> That's such a good point. I didn't I think about that, see it for what's a fucking heart. 
Yeah, I didn't think about that, and that actually does make a lot of sense. <laughs> huh. Screw it. I'm adding that. Horse attack with comics! <laughs> no, it's more a case of because I wrote, like, their immunities, vulnerabilities, and that lot. And that, as soon as you mentioned, like, that does make sense. It would be vulnerable to that. Why didn't I think of that before? Huh. Either way. As you head down, and you're there, if you see this stuff. Wait, I don't even need to roll that. Because... What the hell has happened now? Oh, the lock switched itself on. You have... As soon as you land down there, these things instantly turn towards you, like the little yellow, white things. And the multiple faces and eyes on the heart are staring directly at you. You have quite clearly been seen. Okay. Well. Just, you know, I'm okay. <laughs> and though it's not a painful one. Oh, that's what I forgot to do. Ah, fun times. So, what, are we still gonna reincarnate this guy after he dies, or am I free just to absolutely decimate this entire hideous complex? I mean, he he's been... just kill him. Cool. Oh, yeah. We do need to kill him. And yes, I know some people watching this on YouTube will be seeing a lot more, but shh. Is there the possibility that he's probably been mind fucked the way uh, Schmitty was? Uh. This guy has a mind left to fuck. <laughs> True. They are kind of opposites, aren't they? <laughs> My god, that. Hang on. Well, it's also <laughs> in, in the fact that. Well. Very, very heavy drug usage. Don't do drug kids. Wait, who's, who's, oh yeah, we left breakfast behind. This would have been a great lesson for her not to have done some drugs. But, um... Uh, from that, I can let you all make me a intelligence check. Uh, Sorry, that is a twenty-two. Okay. Fuck. Oh. There's one thing yours can do. It is intelligence uh, checks. Oh, we're doing intelligence. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna rephrase. That was not a good start for me. Yeah, really that, well. that, that. So. That's an eighteen intelligence check. Okay. Uh, Miasma. Yeah. yeah, you think that this thing probably is just mindless. Makes sense. <laughs> uh, the rest of you, as you're looking at seeing like these little flashes of like electrical energy across the walls. <laughs> all feeding back to this pool here. Yes. It's like brain activity. You think there might be a mind. But if it is, it's very protected. Hmm. So also probably Even... just acting on base instincts. That's my point. Even slugs have mind. Yeah. Have brain activity. The only difference is they don't have a centralized nervous system like we do, so it's like all over their body. Pretty much. Yours, yours just rolling just like now. Just very, right. very quickly going to go ahead and telekinetically uh, with, with his, uh, with his uh, telephonic abilities is going to go ahead and implant just a image within the creature's mind of uh, several Yulzes just doing the backpack dance. So, uh, yes, but just roll me a quick d20 because you scored the same as one of them. And they oh, have the same okay. uh, next bonus. So, I just need to see who goes first. So, you'd be going first. So, Eleven. I'll bump you to 20.5. Uh, this could work. This could work quite well for us. 
depending on how I do this. They got. That's it. I hope you guys don't mind having to navigate around stuff. Sixteen. Oh, no. <laughs> Five. Eighteen. Okay. Oh, 20. Oh, it's square. But yes, I will need some initiatives. Oh, God, thank God that pain's finally out of my shoulder. So let me know what your two's initiatives are as I get things set up. Oh, uh, 22. 22, okay. Oh, wow. Does Sorry, I'm, I'm okay, I'm okay, don't worry. Oh, I'm with it. Apologies. Uh, that'll be a 17. A 17? Nope, sorry, correction, that would be an 18. I did math swap wrong. That's fine. Uh, what's your initiative bonus? Uh, it is plus four. And so that would have been four plus a 13. Nope, that is 17. I was right. Okay. That is 17. I was just trying to make sure because it was like someone else would roll the 18 though. <laughs> it, it is 17. I apologize again. Uh, there we go. We've got the turn order sorted out. I'm trying to remember which one of these ones I said it was. It's not that it's one. It's just a good... No, it's a good idea. Rana? Yeah? May I make a suggestion? Yeah. Maybe. Uh, in character. If you're if they allows me to, that is. Yeah, that'd be the one. If I allow you to do what, sorry? If they allow me to make a suggestion to Allo, looking at these little blobby fellas here. Eh, I'll count it as like a free action. Yeah. Like... Yeah, she, she just turns around and goes, Maybe you should set up something to prevent them from crossing through to us. That way... We can better protect ourselves from whatever this strange beast is. Right. They um, look like kidneys. They look like what? They look like walking kidneys. Can I have only out of character? Can I have one? I only have one. What, sorry? <laughs> no, it's not yeah. really out of context, comment. I only have one kidney. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> it's no, to, to the viewers, don't worry. It's nothing that affects my health. I was just born with it. I'm oh, perfectly right. fine. I'm healthy. I heard you wrong. I thought you were making a joke about she cow for a second. Oh, no, no, no. I never... Wait, she cow? Why was I making a joke about she cow? I legitimately was only born with one kidney. In the Sunday I thought I mentioned this before. Because in the Sunday game, she cow had a kidney stolen, didn't she, for a century or two? Oh, shit. Well, did she? Huh? Yeah. Sorry, I might well, have been, like, missed on the game. I might have missed on that one. Speaking of, I don't know when David's starting it. I haven't gotten pings for it as of late, and so I'm just, just been like, okay. He's waiting till his internet's properly sorted. That's fine. So, yes, hello. Hmm. Oh. I was gonna do it myself, but my one's not large enough range. <laughs> top of the hole. What, sorry? Can I see the others at the top of the hole? Uh, yeah, they're looking down at you. Okay, I am casting this. Uh, let me just quickly state how deep this hole is. So I believe I've written this. Uh, the hole is... Wait, that one... Okay. So the bottom of the hole is 40 foot, but you had an extra 50 foot to climb beyond that. So they're 90 foot up. As long as I can see them, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, I'm, just making sure, I'm making sure people just get an idea of what the height, sorry for this, like the dimensions are for this room. 
I am also casting this at 4th level. So yay! Okay. 15 foot doom circle. I need to get the circle thingy done. I don't remember how to do that. Oh, oh here it is. Soon if there were a thing there, I could be like, right, place aura on this person. Oh, that works. <laughs> Oh yeah, if you go into the thingy and then go down, it's got the aura. Yep. So yes, you all watch as Alo does her quick little chanting again. And all the tiny little fey appear once more around her. Just scratching <laughs> at the fleshy yeah. walls of this thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I also mean, wasn't amused by the appearance of fey spirits now. Sorry. I was expecting more of the fire. I am saving that for later. Okay. Put something so far. Uh, and I'm going to move about right here ish. Okay. And that'll be my turn. Miasma. Desperate times must call for desperate measures. She stretches out her hands and just looks at this point exactly for casting. Wait, let me just check to make sure I don't smack around with this. <laughs> One second. Um, me. Yeah, no, you're fine. It's like a... 20 foot... It's like this... I don't... I don't know what it's like... Yeah... I don't know how to properly calculate the size of this thing. What Black are you tentacles? casting? Black tentacles. Okay. Like, if I specify here, it... I don't know if I think it goes ten foot in either direction or it goes twenty foot radius. I don't know what it says. It says twenty foot square, so I'm assuming it's like if I set Fauna here, it'll go here to here. Yeah. So those two That's... need to make me a deck save. So let's see. Yeah. And also they'll get tangled if I uh, There that... you go. Just... Yeah, no, let's build up. That's a fail. They both take 14 damage and also are restrained. Okay. Just look these guys up. Uh, would you say they're restrained due to these black tentacles grappling them? For the most part, I'd assume so, yeah. Like, or, that, like, or you could just have it they're restrained because they're just being smacked constantly by the black tentacles. Yeah, I mean, it counts as difficult terrain when it first starts. And are restrained by yep. the tentacles until the spell ends. Oh, Jesus. Yep. Sounds about right. 50. Oh, hang on. 50. God damn it. Let me just search for this thing. Is restrained grappled? No, restrained is not grappled. It's actually worse. Yeah. Oh, shit. If a, if a creature is grappled, they can't fight back, and I don't believe... Uh, if a creature is restrained, they can't fight back, and I don't believe they can actually defend themselves, which means all attacks are hits. I might be confused on that, but I think that's how restrained works. So, Dayon, yeah, if you go to here, if you go to this part, this little square here, where my thing's originating from, you can actually hit this thing, and it can't defend itself. It creatures restrained creatures be become zero, can't benefit from any bonuses. Attack rolls have advantage, and the creature's attack rolls have disadvantage. Has disadvantage on deck saving throws. Okay. Yeah, I, I didn't realize how good black tentacles could be then. Uh, oh, how much oh yeah. Did you say? Spell. How much damage did you say they're taking? Oh, 14, I think it said. Okay. Yep. Unless they resist bludgeoning, you know. Oh, that's a good point. Let me check. Uh... They do not resist bludgeoning. In fact, okay. What a weak to it. Yeah, I guess if you punch a kidney, then that that that's considered a weak spot in the humans. Yeah, you it's... see these things actually start to shake violently as they are beaten by these tentacles. There's a joke I want to make. <laughs> there, there's a joke I want to make as yours, but I don't know if it's appropriate. Also, uh, uh, it was a DM me it. I'll let you know. Like if, if you think if you're worried about offending me and my singular kidney, no, don't worry about it. No, it's it's not it's not offending you. It's um you, you know what I'll say, and if it's bad enough, Lay can edit it out. But uh, Yolz is going to look at me asthma 
Oh, how many people would pay to have tentacles inside of them? Oh no. Uh, can you just can you just point to me where you did that from so I can just make a square because I think like this lasts up to a minute. So I need to actually play. <laughs> okay, so I'm pretty sure it's um Oh god. Okay, one second. I may actually just do use the the thingy for this, the ruler. Okay, so it was here to here. Okay, so it's like that. Or yeah. something like that. It's like it's like ten foot in each direction, basically. Okay. So it is I I'm sorry, I hope my laughter uh, emboldened you there, Santa. Take this inspiration. Ten. <laughs> Yeah. It is. Oh, I never thought of it black tentacles like that. Yeah, basically that's. Uh, actually, no, it's one less. You see, move that one into here, into the here, and you'll have it. There you go. That's it. There you go. <laughs> actually, that... no, 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 no. Wait, wait. One second. Let me just check. Let me just see. Come on, pen. No, wait. No, it is right. Okay, never mind. That's right. That's yeah. Okay, keep going. Okay, so that is our affected square of the black tentacles. Uh, make me a perception as well, Miasma, while you're at it. Oh boy, time to feel a roll. As you're or not, these, I don't know. As you're watching these tentacles slam about, you feel like you see some of. Like, a lot of them are also trying to strike the ground, because it's fleshy. Yeah. But they're also it's like avoiding... It's like They're avoiding oh. this kind of area. Like, none of them seem yeah. to have spread to this area too much. And if you want, you can cut and make a little square, like, area. Or you can pull it to pull it, like, so it's, like, doesn't affect that line. If you I want. I think like that. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah like that. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Um... Okay, At no, the very least. It would still mm -hmm. be that line for now. Sorry, my bad. No, it's okay. Um, but looking at that, it's like I'm assuming it's because of the acid a river almost like it's slightly affecting here. I just realized I sent that to the wrong layer. Send that to the token layer so I can actually still alter it. There we go. Uh -huh. The square was on the map layer instead of the token layer. Oh, okay. Well, I was gonna say, is it because like the acids like probably affecting here? Uh, not that you can see. Okay. Next would be these things, which I uh, affectionately called the whelps. I have to ro wait. If this is the ones, the ones in here have to roll a strength or deck to save to get out. Yep, with disadvantage. Or yeah, and they have to. Or they take 3d6 bludgeoning again. Uh, the first one fails. Yes. The second one also fails. Also fails, yeah. So um, that's another. Let me roll 3d6. Roll 3d6. Yep. Nine. Eight, that's kind of shit, but um, yeah, it's 18 still pretty, you know. Yep. And they're still stuck. So <laughs> I think. So they are on that HP. Uh, yes, they can't move because they are still technically restrained. Mm-hmm. Because I did oh, make them immune oh, to being grappled, I love you. grappled and restrained are two different things. I love you, Black Tentacles. Kiss is gone. However... <laughs> oh, have, boy, these... There are still some at the sides here. Wait, where are this? Oh, I, oh, yeah. At least I think. Yeah. Oh, sh yeah, yeah, no, no, I think I... No, I remember. I remember you showing us this. God uh, damn it. What did you know it? <laughs> that 30 means it's not in the circle yet. 10, 15, 20. However, this one is in the circle. Uh huh. Sorry, Cody, I didn't know those ones were there. Let me just check. I forgot. It's been like two weeks, one or two weeks. It's oh. It just sent to the circle. Yeah, it would still just about to get to there. Uh, do, 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 do. Lee, I'm gonna, I'm gonna quickly run to the toilet and yep. pee. <laughs> it needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Yep. Uh, yeah, again, I've done the thing like I did with the baby, and I can't remember how we sorted that out. 
I think mm -hmm. we stated that they only do like half the damage to them. It's Cause... either something like that or something else because technically... Oh yeah, I think that's it, yeah. Yeah, they do just like the half the damage to it. Just purely because they are immune to wisdom save spells. But yes, it is there, it is in combat, it is going to go ahead and bop Cody with a plus three to hit. That is a major fail. Yep. Second attack. 20? Does a 20 hit Cody? Yeah. Okay. Wait. Let me just check. Not scratch that. They only have one attack. I read that wrong. I read my own rules wrong. So, yeah, he just missed. Okay. However. Now we get to the fun part. And now there's where I have to move the square. As do you see the black type tools scared to get pushed back and shrink back? As a large hole opens up in the ground. And I've gone to the wrong layer. As you see a large mouth open wide. In the ground. And this thing can... I thought this thing had the thing where... Ah oh yes, no, there it is. Slash R, 1D6. Oof. Now I need to make a little star there, because it needs, because it's got recharge on that. Let me copy. And you see, as this thing opens wide, and it just unleashes this unholy hiss. Six more of these things climbs out of the mouth. Three on each side. Because hmm. once you know it, I love boss bonus. <laughs> So they should be a bit more like that if the other ones were. There we go. And that's its turn done. Because the mouth can't move. Yules. Yes. I think I know what I want to do. Just waiting for this to load real fast. I want to do this. I want to take a pass. What did I come back to? Why is there a... 15 of look. Why are there like 20 kidneys? <laughs> it's a boss spawner. Oh yeah, there was a move! I also forgot about that. Yep, that's why the black tentacles refuse to try spawn too much in that area. Because that's where the lips are okay. in. They just, as soon as it opens its mouth, it shrank back the tentacles. So, um... You'll... I guess you'll... Okay, I tend to poison spray some acid down in there. It's not gonna like it. Failed the heart by him, motherfucker. Hey. Yules is going to go ahead and from his pouch, he is going to take a small little statue. Um, it would be small to like miasma, but in Yules' hands, it, it, it looks bigger than it actually should be. Um, the statue is draconic in nature, as Yules is just going to crush it, and as he crushes it, fire is going to spout from his hands, and it is going to erupt onto the floor and around him as it forms into this rather large serpentine creature, as Yules is going to cast Summon Draconic Spirit. Okay, also, since I forgot, uh, Alo, roll me your 3d8, well, roll me your damage for that one entry, because I forgot to do the damage to it. Yeah, I was waiting to see if you would remember. I just did. 
So, Draconic Spirit, what does that do? Um, it is... It essentially summons for me a dragon. Um, I get, okay. a, large, I get a large Draconic Spirit. Um, it is an ally to us and our companions. It's not like an adult dragon or something. It's it's like the elemental spell that okay. he'd use. It's, it's of the, that same line. Um, he's essentially, he is actually going to be chromatic and he is black, um, which means he is resistant to poisoning, uh, or sorry, he's resistant to acid. Um, and so he will also be, uh, he's going to look down at the old because unlike he does have a mentality, uh, unlike the other elementals. That's a very interesting fact in the spell states. But he uh, is allied to us because he is summoned. Um, Yules and him are going to speak in Draconic for a couple seconds. He is going to look at... Um, he's going to look at these boys here. And he is going to go ahead and attack. He gets multi-attack and he will use his breath... He, he will use his breath weapon... And then he will also make a number of bite and claw attacks. Um, he will have half the spells level around down. So that would be... Uh, which side is he spawning in, by the way? He's spawning to your left or your right? Uh, he is spawning in to my left. Okay. So I'll just pop that there and then increase it to a large icon. <laughs> wait, wait, did, you just, did you just summon a black dragon? Essentially, yes. Um. So he's going what to go... He's, Part of me is assuming mm -hmm. that's from how to train your dragon, but I can't properly tell. Nope, that's from League of Legends. His name is yeah, Carl. Okay. It, looks um, like, it looks like a dopey fucking cloud jump. <laughs> so, in, in just saying this, because it's, uh, so it'd be about 30, so it'd be oh. there. Um, so the breath attack is going to go ahead and strike here for 30-30. Okay. Um, they've got to make a dexterity saving throw. Hang on, I did that wrong. Let me do that. And also put it under the control of Santa. There we go. You should have control of that dragon token as well now. Yes, I do. So, how many need to make a save? Uh, just the two and the black tentacles. Uh, yeah, they have disadvantage on deck saves. They do. Yep. So that is a 15 and a yep. 6. Oh, oh, fail. Um, so both... roll 3d6. Uh, 3d is. It was 3d6, isn't it? Let me see. What was what I rolled before? No, no, no. Yeah, this isn't for the black tentacles. This is for the breath oh. weapon. Yeah, this is oh, for the breath weapon. Uh, they yeah, still fail. Um, okay, never mind. So you go. Um, no, it's fine. Um, so they are taking. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Lee, I'm being serious. I, I know this is like dumb out of context commentary, but I'm pretty sure it's the open mouth of a cat. It is. I can't find it. A, I can't yeah. find a token for a dog one. Um, they are taking yeah, twelve points fucker. of acid damage. Twelve points of acid. Um, yes. Okay. Um, and then to the creature next to him, because he this is a multi attack ability, he is going to go ahead and do two uh bite and claw attacks. Um, and both of those rolls are one of those rolls is a 17, and then one of them is a 19. Both of them hit also as you watch these to get caughted in the acidic like breath, uh, it doesn't really seem to do too much to them. They've still taken some damage, but not so much. You feel they may be resistant to acidic. That's cool. I can change his breath attack weapon. Yep. So that's okay. We'll fix that. Um, that is going to be a total of 10 plus. So that is going to be 10 plus... Um, It'll be 14 points of normal damage, and then it'll be 5 points of piercing damage. So overall, that's going to be 19 points of damage so to the little dude. 14 normal, 5 piercing. Normal damage? What the fuck's yes. normal damage? Um, it's, it's just damage without a descriptor. 
Oh, just physical enough. damage. Um, yeah. <laughs> Alright, uh, that makes somewhat sense. Yep. And then, with that, um, I'm going to be nice, and I'm going to save the fire hydra for later. Yep. Um, uh, that way I don't. That way I don't overspawn you on too many things, but that'll end your sister. As this dragon attacks, obviously the normal damage. Yep, that goes through fine. That's normal. But as it pierces through, and the claws just come back out, you watch as the holes just kind of slowly start to patch themselves up, resistant to piercing. Okay, so the you know, they are, they are gooey piercing. gooey. I'd say it's, you know, actually, no, fair enough. I was, I was gonna say it's more, I've, I've been more kind to say that slashing damage is more of weakness like that. I think it's but... more akin to, like, if you were to like, poke you... a gummy bear with a cocktail stick versus if you were just a cut cutting with a in knife. half. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know, fair enough. Fair enough, I'll... That's actually makes a lot of sense. It is the heart's like... turn. Lee, please don't oh. question if you see my thing come up in the background. I'm just doing stuff in the background when I wait for turn, but I'm listening. I just want to try and try something out. So, the heart is oh, it watches not you. Not the second, I swear. Uh, yep, yeah, and that is fine. <laughs> Did I honestly not give a uh, thing for that? Um. Okay, so you watch this heart just start to throb. And as it does so, you watch as these pores open up on the bottom. Much like with a picture, they start to turn into long tentacle-like nozzles that aim towards you all. It's getting eight shots off. Mm. And because I've done these kind of things like this, I could instead do this, which I'm going to do so for two of them. I mean, it's getting four normal shots and two concentrated fire AOE shots. Christ. Mm. Mommy, hold me, I'm scared. The two concentrated AOE shots are landing directly in the middle there. So I'm going to need all of you to make me two deck saves each. Mummy, hold me, I'm gonna die. Cody Help passes me. both. Save, save. Holy shit, hi! Hi, passes both. Hi, twin! <laughs> uh, what's your other roll there, Ella? 21 and... 22, you pass both. Uh, yeah, everyone oh, passes both. Oh, holy shit, guys. High five, everyone. High fives all around. So, you'll only be taking half <laughs> of this. There goes my good luck for the session, viewers. Well, you'll be taking only half of both of these rolls, so... Uh, yeah. that rounded down would be five... Ten five. damage each. What kind of damage yeah, is this? This is, a, this is acidic damage. Um, I already have resistance because of the draconic bond with the yep. spear. So... so... it will even be halved even more for me, so... Yep, so that would be four damage to you. Yep. I have a question yep. that I'd like to ask. Um, oh, fuck is. Ignore that. I, sorry, ignore my commentary. Um, I forgot what the question was. Okay. Oh, no, no, I remember what it is. Uh, guys, what level are you? Uh, we're nine? Level nine. Level nine. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, okay. keep going, Lee. Sorry. Uh, and with these single shots. The first shot it's going to take is on the dragon. That is a miss, I'm assuming. Um, yeah, yeah, no very much so. It's going to aim again at it, miss. Third one hits it with a 20. Oh god. I'm assuming. Yes, it does. Uh, the fourth one, 19, does the 19 hit the dragon? A 19 does hit the dragon. Okay, so, two shots hit the dragon. This is doing... Okay, sorry, I'm okay. 
that and that. So I'm assuming it's going to be half because Black Dragon. Yep, it is. It is indeed half. So it would actually be five, five plus three. Yep. So that eight would damage. be nine. Oh nope, you're right. Eight. Yep. I can't do math. Yep. So that's its turn done. Uh, Cody. Got a jelly bean creature in fighting with you. Oop, there we go. Uh, uh, that is a said. hit. Yep. Hit. Jesus okay. Christ. Hang on a sec. Let me just try quickly check something because I need to remind myself of these. Yeah, they're not resistant to fire, so it will be taking all of that. And one more. 14. Leon, well, yeah, this is a really weird question. Go on. But does your, whenever you get a DM, does it show up in the, does it, will it show up in the recording? Uh, on roll 20 or on Discord? No, Discord. I don't think it does know because it's only recording the window for roll 20. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Uh, 14. Defender wins. So 16, 26, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 35 damage. Huh? Did I just Sorry? Say, did I say 35 damage? Yeah. Okay. Guessing 14 misses. Uh, defender wins. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. Wait. So sorry about that, Lee. Um, but I'll I'll do my best to be very strategic and very intelligent for your sake. That's fine. I would just have to try and do maths then, because maths was failing me. On such simple numbers, maths was failing me. This is a bad sign. Uh. <laughs> Not the numbers. No. Action held. Uh, Alan, God. your turn. Oh, it's my turn again? Yep. Okay. Uh, scoot over just slightly like this. And... Come on, let me have this. There we go. I need to go back and read the thing. Oh wait, you took damage, didn't you, Miasma? I took 10 damage from the original thing. Concentration. Wait, wait is thing con is, is Black Tentacles concentration? Indeed. Yeah, because you're, you're, hold you're holding, a, por you know, you're you're holding a portal open. You're correct. Um, hang on one second, I'm gonna just fix the scroll button because I just went off in the mercury, off in the space there with my hand. Concentration! That's intelligence, but if you want to remove five, then that's what I get. <laughs> I believe that is still a pass. Yeah, it's a sixteen. Sorry about that. I just, uh, my hands a bit in my right hands. My hands in general are uncoordinated that's right fine. now, going off Oop. with everything. But you know. So Alloy's moving over there to help Cody. Yeah. Although I'm pretty sure Cody probably doesn't need or want the help. I'm gonna use. What do I want to use? I'm gonna use... I kinda wanna use Jeffu. Who Use what? Sorry? Uh, it's Only sword. sword. Oh, okay. Uh... It's Jeff, it's Jeff in Japanese. Were apparently. You, were you given Jeffu? Yeah! It was one of the few items that was left. Okay. Uh, are you proficient in that kind of weapon? No, nobody actually took the time to help me figure out how to use it. So I'm not rolling with proficiency. Okay. But that's an 18. That is still a hit. 1d8 slashing damage. 
That is ten. Okay. It is just about still up. But it is not looking healthy whatsoever. Cordy, you've quite literally just seen Alo run up. Pull out Oni's old sword and use it. You for the... By the way, I'm... Santa. What's up? Thank you for the big meat shield in between me and that other... <laughs> uh, old guy. You're welcome. Thank you. I'd hug you, but you're across the Atlantic. Yep. Uh, speaking of it, it's Miasma's turn. Oh, VML! God, let's go. Sorry, one second. Um, Lightning Bolt. I'm gonna cast that level 4 just to see what it does. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm gonna cast. Uh, I only one level 4 spell left. That's awkward. Uh, who are you casting that on? I'm just casting it, and it's not casting on anyone, but. Let me just scroll up. Alright, yeah. So this goes 100 meters in front of me. Yep. 100 feet in front of me. So, uh, yeah. This is gonna attack everything in this, or at that range. Uh, it's gonna hit the mouth. If it's okay with you, if I can hit the it, mouth of the. It unfortunately won't be attacking everything in range. Oh, okay. If it, uh, I'll said, aim at the heart then. Yeah, because I was about to say, then. that thing is technically up in the air at the floor. moment. Not yeah, okay, then I'll just hit the, I'll just hit the yeah. thing then. So to hit that thing, so, you would have to be aiming it slightly uh, upwards, meaning it would go over the mouth and over the little whelps. Come on, don't, don't fail me now, don't fail me now, roll so, 20, you bitch. Needs to make a dex save. Anyway, that's still, can I, can I make a hit dex if it's a fucking heart? <laughs> I mean, it could sway. Yeah, that's far enough, but... <laughs> Let's see what it does. Unfortunately, given it can only sway, it has to do this with a disadvantage. Thank you. You're a nice DM. Sorry, I don't know if it's really out of comp. I'm... Oh, I, I, I feel like dancing, but I feel like if I do dance, I'm going to fall over. Anyway. I just have to scroll at up to the, remember what... At the what... very least, I'm not in pain. That's nice. I gave these ones... It was plus two. So, uh, that is a fail. That's a fail, yeah, that's a fail. But let's just see if it ultimate fails. Nope, it's just that's, a fail. That's, fail. A, that's an even worse fail, but it's not an ultimate fail. Yeah. So, it is taking 48 40. damage. Jesus. Oof. That's a really bad roll for me as well. That's 96, and I got mostly the like, fucking poos and braves. And it's going to have to make a quick save. Can I just give the fucking finger on a heart attack? It passes. Okay, no, that's fine then, I guess. I guess. It remains up in the air. Oh. Is that your turn, or are you moving? Mmm. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, those two Seriously. That those two that are still in the thing have to make a save. With disadvantage. Uh, one fail. is a fail, the other one is also a fail. So, roll your damage for them, and let's see how much they're taking. Roll a 3d6. Well, well, 24. I feel like I'm really well optimized for this fight, in a sense. Uh... Wait, wait, if the mouth is in here, if the mouth is here, does that mean the mouth have to make, has to make a defense roll? No, I'm saying that... That is where the bottom lip would be there. Alright. So Very it's, terrible. Yeah. Being smacked in the bottom lip. <laughs> so, with that That's 24 fair damage, enough. Right, fair enough. you watch these heads just start to flail around and splat these two. Is they are dead. Okay. That depends though if these guys are going to be stupid enough to just barge through here. Okay, no they're not. Okay, fair enough. You know what, yeah, that's okay. valid. I know that he's going to be taking half damage at the end of this turn. Or is it beginning of the turn when they do so? Shouldn't have moved. Uh, it doesn't really specify, I don't think. Shouldn't have moved! Sorry. Uh, let me just check quickly for that thing while I'm here. 
So need to re remember for those two. But that's Black Tentacles, this. <laughs> when it enters this thing for the first time, it does that. On a failed save, they take... Okay, they'll be taking damage to the enter, so... Roll... Roll it twice just to see what these two take for it. Mm, that'll be a 10 and a 9. Is that already halved? That is halved, yes. Okay. So that... And... That. 5, Sorry, 10, 15, over 20. The field is very right. uh, roll it one more time. Another 10. Okay. Sorry, Lee. Is these guys just start to bum rush downwards? It's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, they will be getting some attacks now. So, let's see. Remind myself again, what is their attack? Plus 3 to hit. 1D, let's start from left to right. So the one to the left of the dragon is attacking and he gets advantage. No, no, I don't want to cast it. Sorry, I just want to look at something. I love that no whole question that when I went in, he gets advantage. Mm. I'm not. I'm too out of it, the question. Don't worry. Uh, 18, Santa? Yeah, that hits. Okay. Uh, I'll also roll for the one above him as well. Just to see. Fuck. Uh, nat 20 on that one. <laughs> Oof. That hits. So, slash R, 2D, what was this? Yeah, 2D, so, for the guy that's on the left of your dragon, that is 6 bludgeoning, and this will be halved, because this is acidic, 2 acidic damage. Okay. Uh, the guy above you, this will be... Doubled, if I recall, because critted. Your god. So, 18. Okay. And oddly enough, even though it is doubled. Uh, oh, no, wait. If it's doubled, it's doubled, and then it's reduced. So, yeah, that would actually be five. <laughs> Sidic damage. <laughs> that would apply no matter what. What am I talking about? Sorry, keep going. Oh, he's still good. Uh, yep. Now the two are on Allo. Mm -hmm. And 18? Oh. 18. Defender wins. Ooh. And the other one? Not 20. <laughs> Ow. So, the only one that did manage to hit. Uh, 20. And... 8 acidic, so 20 bludgeoning, 8 acidic. I'm coming to save you, Alo. Don't worry. Uh, Seriously, I really hope this does uh, oh. So what do I need to roll for concentration again? Uh, Let me just check, because I forget. Wait, 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 wait. If all of them were moving on into Alo's movement, was I just at the toilet doing this, or did you do the thing where it's like... Oh, uh, well, when they rolled in, when they wandered into Allo's range with this yes. aura, uh, Allo's already rolled the damage as soon as they moved in. Yep. Okay, fair enough. That's fair enough. All right. Don't know. Let me just check for concentration quickly, because this is the thing I keep forgetting. Because it's one of the rare things I rarely ever do when I'm a magic user. Uh, duration, concentration. Yep. Do, 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 do. Hell was I doing whenever I got. It would help if it taught me how to make the concentration check rather than just tell me what the concentration check is. Concentration oh. is a constitution check. Oh, yeah. There it is. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's a constitution. That's what I was yeah. doing. So Except I rolled. Yeah. So make a constitution check, and the DC is 10 or half the damage you take. 11. Uh, you took twenty-eight. Eight. So that'd Holy be fourteen. Shit. So yeah, it's half the damage taken. So it'd be fourteen. 
So, unfortunately, oh. you failed a concentration check. Well, that's fine. That means I can use it for other things. That is true. Uh, the one that's attacking Cody, however, does not get advantage. Because I'll just reveal this right here and now. These things have pack tactics. That's why I didn't yeah, get I kind advantage. Of assume, I kind of assume, seeing how many there were, that they'd have some form of pack tactics. Yep. And that, I know, 100% will fail on a 12. So it gets to the mouse turn. Slash or 1d6. You want to do lick us? No, it's what, not going to do? lick you. It's going to refresh its special ability. Oh, fuck. <laughs> because I rolled a 6. Oh, no. So. Run. Run, it's attack of the killer lips. Buh, 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 it's buh. okay. He <laughs> can't use it till his next turn because refreshing's an action, I believe. Uh, Wait, is that special tact throwing up like six of these bastards? Priffy, refresh your skills, let me just remember. Uh, yes it is. So yes, he, it just refreshes it so it can use it on its next turn, it can't do it this yep. turn. It's it's what keeps um, spell wands from being used yep. instantly sometimes. Which means that I messed up on the last session when the baby kept vomiting every turn. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. Uh, so, Jules, it would be your turn. Um. Yeah, Jules is going to ignore the fact that they aborted this dude's fetus. Um. And Jules is going to go uh, ahead you and call baby. his his eyes are going to turn a very bright green as he is going to say something in Draconic. Um, and he is going to cast Aura of Life. Um, life-preserving energy radiates from you in an aura within a 30-foot radius until the spell ends, 10 minutes, or until I lose concentration. Uh, the aura moves with me, centered on me. Each non-hostile creature in the aura, including me, has resistance to necrotic damage, and its hit point maximum can't be reduced. Um, also, and this is the reason that I'm casting it, each non-hostile living creature that is in the circle that starts its turn with zero returns to one. Uh, did you say 30 foot? It is a 30 foot, and it is all non-hostile friendly there creatures. Oh, okay. Yep, there yep. we go. Sweet. Um, so if you, go, if you go down with zero, don't worry, you'll come back up to one. Um, I'm at 49, so don't worry about me. For the most part. Uh, where about do they start healing this stuff? Is it on their turn or your turn? It um, will be on the start of their turn. Um, after after they on the start of their first turn at zero, they will go back to one. Okay. Uh, what, um, what was the other effect of it aside from that? Uh, we have resistance to necrotic, and our hit points cannot be decreased. And then. Um, sticking. So you mean like the maximum mm -hmm. HP can't be decreased when you say that? Yeah, you know, yeah, like you know how like wraiths can decrease your maximum yeah. HP permanently. <laughs> that sure can't happen in World of Warcraft. Sure yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I realize how that. Yeah, I realize how that uh, got confusing there. Um, and then I believe. Oh no, nope, never mind. That's an action, so I can't do that this turn. But that is okay. We will go to El Dragon. That's not how you say dragon in Spanish. Um, and he is going to go ahead, and he is going to. He is turning off. Let you. To Nias, he is turning off. To Nias is the question. Sorry, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> um, Nolly, sorry, Dion. Mm -hmm. Do you want Hiss? <laughs> Should I cast it oh, on myself? I I made a mistake. I'm not really sure you made a mistake. But that's okay, we'll, con we'll continue. Um, yeah, he's supposed to take the dodge action when he's attacked, but that was on me, and so I will I ignore that. I kill more too. things, that's I right. guess. Yeah, the problem is, like, I want to cast as much lightning bolts as I can, this fucker a pair, so... I want to kill it, I want it to die, and I want to... Oh, uh... I want to be the big star of the show, but you know, at the same time, I want to help you guys. I want to. I don't want to be a dick. 
seriously, please. The dragons, the dragons just looking at Miasma, like... I'm not talking in character. <laughs> <laughs> Um, not that the dragon could understand you. He only speaks Draconic. Um, you've done me a wonderful favor, Lay. Go. By moving these three closer. Um, instead of acid, this will be fire. Um, see if that will actually, no, wait, hold on. Hold on, is it one of it? Let me double check this real fast. Uh, it is! It's not going to be fire, it's going to be lightning. Um, turn turn your eyes, Miasma. Um, <laughs> oh, as he is going to go character. ahead and... Uh, yeah, yours in Draconic will say it. He's not going to say it in common, he's still speaking Draconic. Uh, yeah, Miasma's like, Miasma's um, like, what can lost us? Miasma, do you speak Draconic? <laughs> no, I don't. I speak common. Let me see, what was it? I speak common, sylvan, yeah, common and sylvan and abyssal for some then reason. You wouldn't understand what yours is warning you about. Yeah, he's just like, um, yeah, it's just like, yeah, just... that's what you get. It's just, it's just, it's just poor Kayla Stoes, and then as soon as the lightning comes out, she just fucking leaps like two feet in the air. <laughs> um, these three in front of uh, in front of the dragon need to make me a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Plus three. Uh, the top one passes. passes no damage. Uh, the other two, 10 and 13, I'm assuming both fail. Yeah, those two fail. Um, passes no damage. Critted. It's not funny. Oh, he critted. Okay. I can't see I... the roll 20 chat at the moment. I apologize. I have rolled um, a crazy amount of that 20s. Yeah, you lucky bastard. Alrighty. So they each, the, the two that are being hit, they are going to go ahead and they're going to take nine points of lightning damage. Okay. Um, and then immediately after he does that, he is going to strike the two in front of him with two bite and claw attacks. Um, so for the one in front of him, um, that is a 18 to hit. Yep, that will hit. Also, Miasma, make me a wisdom save. And then the one to the side of him, that is a 17 to hit. Uh, that will also hit. Alrighty, so for the first one, it's going to be 13 points of damage. For, sec for the second one, it is going to be 15 points of damage. Uh... Um, it is going to be... Sorry, apologies. Yes, I need to separate that for you yeah. because it's, it's piercing. Um, so for the first one, that's going to be nine points of um, nine points of physical damage, and then four points of piercing. Uh, um, is the four already half, do I? Uh, no, the four is not already half. Okay. So that'd be two. Yep. Um, and then for the other one, that is going to be eleven points of physical damage, and then two points of piercing damage. And that one is half already. Yeah, that one is yep. already. Okay, yeah. there we go. Uh, and Miasma, please make me a wisdom save because lightning went off without you expecting it. <laughs> You're there, Inferno? Okay, we'll have her roll that when she gets back. <laughs> so, one the eight shots. Here we go again with the heart. So we're getting four shots off this time. Uh, it is not going to spend any of them to become AOEs. Actually, yes, it is. It's going to make. One AoE, so two shots, one AoE. So let's do the individual shots first, and they are going to be aimed on the dragon again, because it wants this giant thing gone. So let me check what that is. Plus four to hit. Uh, the two shots are a 15 and an 11. Um... Is it Defender Wins on this one or me to beat? It's Defender, it's Defender Wins, wins on this one, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so the 15 is uh, Defender Wins. Okay. 
So no damage from this. Level is a miss. But I will need you, Miasma, and the dragon to make me a deck surf. Oh no, I am I'm actually sorry. Um the first one is not defender wounds, it just misses. I thought that was ten plus the level of the spell is fourteen. Working with a new spell here. Yay! That's fine. Um and yes, uh, we will make the dexterity save soon. Um, that is a 17 for the dragon and a dirty 20 for yours. Those are both passes. I just realized I've ended this at the person who's also still, I think, AFK. Ooh. So I'm going to just make this extra. Otherwise, we could be waiting here a bit because they didn't say that they went BRB. So first things first, what would happen with the wisdom save? She would have passed. She is glorious. How about the decks? 14 would be just about to pass. So take you're all taking half of this. Half again for those that have resistance to acid. Uh, let me just make sure I'm doing this correctly. I am. So seven, halved, and then rounded down would be three for you and the dragon yours, and seven for Miasma. Cool. There we go. Cody. Cody. Stop. That is a oh, and that is a oh, As you just slice it in half. It just seems to melt into the ground. That's kinda gross. Uh that is an advantage now. That is a hit. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty two damage. <gasps> I'm sorry, Allo. Why are you apologizing? Read the effect. I'm fireproof, sort of. <laughs> Let me just try and work this out. 22. Okay, so that's on that. Uh. Okay. Are you resistant? I am resistant to fire. Thanks Thank you to being... Four. Say Thank that you again? Or not seven. Ow! <laughs> My 61 health is now at 29. Uh, I'm sorry. I've already made them take the fire damage. Those two that were next to him as well. Yeah. And uh, 17 has a hit. For 12 damage. Yep. There we go. They are st it is still up. But only just about. I know that's meant to be a canine mouth, but it's just a cat mouth. It is a cat mouth because I couldn't find a canine mouth. I mean, you can give it a pass. I mean, it is technically it may, meat monster. Yeah, you don't know. It may have absorbed someone that was like a tabaxi. Or, you know, some unfortunate person's pet cat. It absorbed mm -hmm. Jericho. Jericho just found his way down here. <laughs> uh, it will be Allo. Eh. Uh... What do I want to do? Also, I am just editing the stats or something at the moment. Because I feel like this will go on forever if I don't. Yep. That's <laughs> um, going to be just that. I think I'm actually going to use... The robe of stars, and I'm gonna attack the mouth because I've seen that thing make sound and things appear. Okay. <laughs> so you're casting. You okay? Then? Okay. Okay. 
Sorry, I just sat down. I was call in the middle of a covering pit. I'm okay. Yeah, thank you, dear. Thank you, Lee. Thank you, dear. I'm, but I'm perfectly fine. I'm just about to pull over mentally. I'm okay. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, Hopefully, my directions didn't have to be used, but yeah, there's still what I'm going to do. So, if I recall right, a fifth level magic missile is 74 plus 7. Oh, good. I don't have to look it up. Wait, who's the. Oh, I want the Rubble Stars. Oh. Well, Aloe wanted it too. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah. what did I get then? Uh, if I recall right, none of you have really distributed the items yet, so Grace and Aloe are currently carrying all the items until you do so. Can I have... Can I... Can I, um... Can, I, can, I, can I... Once we're done, Rana, can I fight you in Pokemon Showdown for the role of Star Wars? No! Because I don't play that. <laughs> oh, okay, what can we play? Fucking... I don't know... You can fight her in Dead by Daylight. <laughs> no, I'm really bad at that. I'm really, really bad at Dead by Daylight. My class right, we... learn Magic Missile from what I remember. Okay, fine. Fine. But what else did we get? I can't remember. It was like four weeks ago. Let's wait until after the boss fight to discuss That's this, a... okay? Yeah. Good point, but my wow. brain's gonna be focused on that now. And now I've been distracted. Lay, like, how many... Seven. 74 for seven. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, and I'll tell you straight away, this thing isn't resistant to voice. I'd it's like to hope not, and basically nothing's resistant to force. Yeah, it's a very rare way to find something that's resistant to force. That is 25 damage. Okay. Now. I am also uh, going to move this thing's health. Sorry. Sorry, I'm going to beat myself so I, until unless I need to speak. Yeah. Okay. I and... Because this is a bonus action, and I did swap it out last time we had a rest. I'm going to cast Searing Spite on my... on Jeffu. <laughs> okay. Just give me a moment, I'm just quickly nerfing some stuff, because... If I don't, this fight may go on forever. Because this was planned Jeff, for if I to be here. Um... <laughs> and given not all of you are here, I need to nerf it down for... Technically five players in case uh Rakus turns up for this. Yeah. So um, why are we missing a trick stem? I don't think I ever got that. We don't know. We don't know. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And did I roll for those? I don't think I did. We don't know. Uh, may have gone over to their friend's house or something. Or may just be resting up. There we go. I forgot to roll for something for initiative, so I'll do that after this Lord of Turns. But that is our Lord's turn done. Yep. Uh, yeah. Let me ask okay, so, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to go on the, I'm going to go here, actually. Yep. No? And I'm going to cast Lightning Bolt at 5th level, so... That is, I think, 10d6? Or 10d... 10, yeah, 10d6. Uh, that is a fail? Yeah, a fail, I guess, on the heart? Yep. One second, let me just say, uh... 1d6. Okay, so roll 10d6. It's going to go horribly for me, I can tell. Ugh. Um, okay, no. <laughs> 101d6! 31! <laughs> I'm sorry, I but I think that earns a lot of art. Well, 62, technically. And I, using I the last that... of my mobility, I'm gonna come back here. I think I, may, I think I may need to nerf this a bit more then. Because looking at that 101d6, I know there are a lot of that ones in there, but even that wouldn't have been able to kill it in one shot. Jesus Christ! Even with the weakness? Oh yeah, no, with the weakness it would have done. I forgot about the weakness. Uh, so that's 62. Oh, right. 60, 62, yeah. That's a 5th level spell, and yep. that's my only 5th level spell, so... Jesus Christ! And it passes the con save. Yeah, okay, that's fine. That, that's fine. You guys have fun, I'm gonna just hide behind Yules and the dragon. I'm sorry, I don't mean this in a mean way. But, 
I want to try and pertain, uh, contain as much of my health as possible because I know I'm with my lightning abilities, I'm going to be quite useful. And I think you guys want to keep me here. You know? I'm not meaning on a smug way. Like, yeah, I will smug. Wait, did that guy just go in there? That guy. Wait, did you just send that guy in there? I was about to, then I remembered they have pack tactics, so it won't even need to move though for the advantage. Aww. Aww. I remember... Wait, I'm gonna drop. Actually, well, yeah, I'm gonna drop my concentration, so there's no point in keeping that up. It's just there. Right, uh... So yeah, just. That's fine. Just delete the the 15. Yeah, the pink pink blob thing, the pink square. Yep. That ain't no square. Five, I'm so sorry, Sandra. Lee, I'm gonna. Lee, I'm confused. Right. Why are you called Santa Guide? Because it's confusing me between you, actually, you and Santa. Because I have not changed my name since Christmas. <laughs> oh. Why is it confusing? My name's Eggplant. Why the fuck is Santa <laughs> called Santa? That's just a weird thing. I just really. Why is no, no, not you, and not you, uh, most. So, I so mean, Santa and Santa Claus. Why is Santa Claus called Santa Claus? Like, what? Santa what is Claus Santa? Santa is such a is... weird name. Okay. It's like, okay. What? Santa <laughs> is Saint. No. Santa means Saint. Sorry. Klaus. Oh, uh, so Santa Claus means Saint. Klaus. It's one of his many names. It's That's just the one that fine. got Saint super popular because Coca-Cola used it. That's okay. You know, um, yeah. Fine. Sorry, Dion. Sorry, I'm just because because his full your... name is his full name is Santa Nicholas. <laughs> okay, That's so. perfect. So, yeah. fine. I'm just completely. I, I'm out of it and looking at things from like a almost third person perspective, where I'm going, what the fuck? Oh, the dragon <laughs> that is a <laughs> miss for the first attack. <laughs> Uh, with the second guy, that is also a miss. So no attacks hit on the dragon. God damn it, Lee. Uh, <laughs> Yules, 15. Lee. Uh, for a hit? Yep. Um, does 15 beat your AC? Hold on, let me double check here real fast. Uh, 15 does not beat my AC. Okay, so he misses and he doesn't get advantage because he's not within 5 foot. Uh, the one on Miasma, 12. Miss, yep. bitch. Yep. Sorry, sorry, miss. That's right. Uh, the two that are on Cody will get advantage because back tactics. Nat 20. And the second oh, guy no. is a 22. So you know that part, Rana, where I said I'm going to help you? I'm sorry I lied. What are you about to do? I forgot I was going to I forgot I was going to help you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Uh, so... I forgot I was gonna help you! <laughs> I'm assuming 22 hits you, Cody. Yeah. Okay. 2d6. This one... This is from the first thing that critted, so these will be doubled numbers. So, 12 mm. bludgeoning. And 4 acidic. Yep. And from the second one, 7 bludgeoning. Six acidic. <laughs> uh oh. 12, 30, 40, 50, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 20, 29 damage. And on Allo, uh, I'm assuming 13 will not miss you, hit you, Allo. Uh -huh. so it is simple. missed. Yep, so. They both <laughs> So that is fine. Mouth. Slash R, 1d6. How many does it spell? R, 1d6. Holy crap, I got that. Nice Christ. <laughs> Five. And. Okay. One. Cool. <laughs> Sorry, that's really specific, but you can understand why my brain was like, whoa, sound of the word. <laughs> there are now five more of the little shits. What's a squiggle? Wait, the floor spawned the fuck! 
His mouth is producing them. The life is giving birth. It's just like spitting them up. It's just like this. Forget the fetuses. This thing's a fucking boss in and of itself. Here's the here's the little trick thing. The whole room's the mm. boss. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. No offense. <laughs> Yours. Um, so correct me if I'm wrong. Um, when it comes to con when it comes to spells um, relating to uh, concentration, is it just concentration spells that when you cast it? Um, like if you cast another concentration spell, you have to roll, or is it any spell? I, it's been a hot minute, and I'm having a brain fart. Yeah, that's. I didn't. Re I didn't understand the word that, but yeah, I agree. So, so, if I'm using a concentration spell. And I cast another spell. Is it just concentration spells that require me to roll, or is it other spells? Uh, it's been a hot minute since I've played a caster. Give me Uno Momento and I will check. Fifth E concentration. And I'm having a bit of a brain fart on that. That's fine. Uh, cast a spell, casting reach. Blah, 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 components. No. Concentration. Casting another spell that requires concentration. Okay, cool. Concentration so I can cast, spell, okay. cast another Sweet. spell that requires it. You can't concentrate on two spells at once. So yeah, if it's just an instantaneous, it's fine. Sweet. Okay. I don't know why I had to open up. Then in that case... I'm going to... Oh, it's been a hot minute since I've done this. This is what happens when I play non-casters, Your Honor. I can't remember how to play casters. <laughs> um, screw it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cast Scorching oh, Ray. Wow, my hometown's a word. Anyway, sorry. Like, every time I look at a word when I'm like this, I'm fucking like, holy shit, that's a word. We <laughs> have lost the iron. Yeah, she messaged me no! saying that she. Yeah, it's that's what I'm waiting for. for. Tonight. Sorry. So she's going to go rest up for tonight, so. I'm she sorry, said I could damn. Damn. <laughs> yeah, she said I'm I could. Sorry. Cause, she said I could play Zalo. <laughs> no, Cody. I'm sorry, Dion. I think it's like her medication has just been really off recently because the up to red mm. medication. So, go on, what were you doing, Yules? Um, Yules is casting Scorching Ray. Yep. Um, I created an additional ray. I'm casting this at fourth level, so it is instead of three, it is going to be five. Okay. And um, he is going to hurl all five of them at the heart. Okay, so this is fire damage, if I recall. Uh, yes, and it is five ranged attacks. Okay. Um, so, here we go. I've only got two D20s with me at the moment, so it's going to be two for... So for the first two, that is a 17 and 19. Uh, both hit. Alrighty. And then just to make things easy, I'll mass roll them here uh, after I get see which one's it. Um, for the next two, um, it is going to be a 17 and a 21. Also both it. Um, I know you said you're going to mass roll them. I'm going to need you to roll them individually, unfortunately. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, is, is he resistant to fire? Yep. Alrighty. Um, then I will roll them individually. Um, and then there's one more. And that last one is going to be a natural 20. Then double the damage of the last... Well, with the last one, I was about to say double the damage, but if it's an even number, it's just going to be that number. <laughs> yeah. So I'll go ahead and just roll uh, normally on that. So for the first attack, that is going to be... That's going to be five points of fire damage, which will then be two. Um, for the second attack, that's going to be 10 points of fire damage, which will be 5. Yep. For the third, 
That's going to be 12, which will be 6. Yep. For the 4th, uh, that will be 9, which will be 4. And then for the 5th, which is the crit one, I'm um, just going to roll normally. That is going to be 11. Okay, so 11, that would be halved, which would then be 5. Doubled up would be 10. Yep. Oh, no, wait, I've been doing it where you uh, up and then halve it. So 11, 22... Just be back again. To so, yeah. yeah. There we go. It is still up. But it does need to make a con save. Hmm. Uh, 20 plus that. It passes. Um. Hold on. There is actually a thing. I can actually, um, on the last one, yep. just letting you know because I just now remembered this because it's been a hot minute since I've played Yules, because I have, a, have Enhanced Bond as a Wildfire Mage. Okay. Whenever I cast a Fire Spell or a Healing Spell, I can roll a d8 and I gain that bonus um, to one damage or one spell and I will be adding it to the last damage. Okay, so that will um, be... So that will have been... doing math 11 plus 7 that is 18 so that would have been 18 plus 18 is 36 have that be 18 again so yeah yeah so that would be 18 on that last one okay so i just need to minus seven more from this uh, do, 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 do. yeah there we go still up still not looking too great and dragon's turn if i recall So what is your dragon doing? Sorry, I um, forgot I was on push to talk there. Uh, he will just be doing his multi-attack again. Okay. Um, so he is going to go ahead and with lightning, the ones in front of him there, uh, he will go ahead and attack them. So they'll need to make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, just this one, is it? Or is it like... Yeah, it'll... It, it, it's, a, it's a cone, so it'll just be him. Would it not be him as well, if you end it at the side? Mm, nope, because cones go like this. Okay, so yeah. So you can't, sadly... So, yeah. dex save on the 20 plus 3. Uh, that is a fail. He's taking full damage. Yep, uh, so that'll be full 2d6 of lightning. That will be 12 points of lightning. Okay. Um, and then, of course, there's his two bite and claw attacks, which he'll be doing both of them. Um, there's a natural 20 on the one above him. Yep. And then that is a 19 on the one to the side of him. Okay. And that's going to be for the one above him. There's going to be... Fourteen. No. 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 Thirteen. Thirteen double. Twelve. Will Sorry, be... twelve. Oh, it will 12 be twelve. Um so yeah. twenty-four. Uh and that'll be twenty-four plus four normally, so that'll be twenty-eight points of physical damage, and then that'll be plus four points of piercing oh, in damage. In that case, just from the physical damage alone. This dragon just reels back, just slams down its leg, just splats it. Cool. Um, and then for the other one, it's just going to be the normal two d six, the normal one d six. Apologies. Um, and that is going to be that will be ten points of physical damage and then two points of piercing damage. Okay, so twelve in total. Yep. There we go. And that is that sorted out. Heart's turn. Yep. How many shots? Only five this time, so I can only afford two AOEs and one shot, or three shots and one AOE. <laughs> no! <laughs> it's going to make one AOE, three normal shots. 
What's that little eep in the distance? Mm -hmm. Is that just me that heard that? That was weird. <coughs> that. Good okay. question. <laughs> I'm checking my chat to see if anyone else sneaks in. <laughs> okay, so. It's three shots, yet again. It wants this dragon gone. Nat 20, 21, and a 14. Uh, does the 21 hit the dragon? Because I know the 14 won't. Yes, the 21 does hit the dragon. Okay. So... I did ask you to roll a deck check, Miasma. So... That one, first turn will be doubled and then halved again, so 10 damage. This one will just be straight up halved, so 5 damage, so 15 damage in total to the dragon. Cool. And now I need you three to make me deck saves. Kills of the dragon succeed. You can make me another deck save, Miasma, because I didn't ask you to roll that one yet. You also passed. Natural 20. I didn't ask you to roll. You're not in the range, Jalo. Oh, okay. Never mind, then. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I have to make two saves myself. There we go, that 20. <laughs> Uh, the 20, so they'll... Taking no damage, taking half damage. That's okay. So, Sashroy, 2d10. Uh, 2d10. Uh, 7 damage. Uh, half again for yours and the dragon. Cool. Just need to make sure I got my mass right there. Acid resistance is great. Yep. Cody's turn. Cody is going to take advantage of that advantage she's got at the moment. Let's go for the one between her and Aloe. Hit ya. That is a hit. Dealing. 15 damage. Almost. She is then going to... Remembering what happened last time. She's going to swing for the other one next to her with her Pyre Starter. Hits. Meaning that you won't be hit with this fire, Ella. What? Because she's using the Pyre Starter on this one. So only the other two will be hit with fire. Yep. Yep, 23. And this one's taking 10. And you see that one that was between you both just go up in cinders. And then, last but not least, look at the fiendish on that same one. Nat 20. <laughs> uh, given how I've been doing these things in this round, I'm ignoring that 9, doubling the 12. So that is 24. Which is also enough to slice this guy in half. Wow. She is then going to Bum rush the mouth. Not a bad idea. Yep. Uh, let me just check these. Uh huh. Okay. So that's fine. Uh, Aloe, your turn. How's this one looking? Oh wait, uh, I need to make this roll as well. Nine. 
Because I forgot to add something to the turn order, so I need to just quickly add that. Uh oh. But that's fine. Uh, how is that one looking in front of you? Let me just check. Eh. It is. Uh, about midway. Seems kind of healthy, seems not so healthy. Cordy will shout okay. out to you all, though, as she reaches there. The ones that have spawned don't look as healthy as the other ones have been. Those ones were hastily made then, I suppose. Pretty much. And you already know that I'm going to try and run this one through with Jeffu. Go for it. With its lovely Searing Smite added on. That's a 19. Does that hit? Uh, it does. Okay. So, it's 1d8 plus 3, then... And I need to add... it wasn't on. Okay. Oh, it's already mm -hmm. 10. Almost. I was about to say, sorry. How much... Mm -hmm. How much damage did you do, sorry? Uh, that's gonna be 16 damage total because of uh, the searing might. Okay. It is still up, but it is looking very bad for wear. Okay. Uh, that's my turn, because I don't want to move away from this one. Roll me a... Hmm. How best to do this? Roll me an intelligence check with disadvantage, Alo. Okay. Hmm. That is a 20. The other okay. was a natural. <laughs> I'm going to highlight your icon and I'm going to, in one of these little bars, pop one star. Just to keep a trap attack on something. Aww. You'll see if you manage to get three stars. I'm very curious about this. Uh, either way, Miasma, you're in close combat with something. So. Um, I'll say fuck, fuck that. Well, um, I'm gonna. I don't mean it. Where the fuck did I go? Wait, where did I go? Okay, sorry. This is feeling <laughs> weird. It's like a, considering. <laughs> I'm gonna cast. Um, I'm gonna cast. Um, what's a shield as a reaction? Because I know that's gonna happen as soon as I walk away. Yeah, it is going to try and attack you. So I'm gonna go put my um my defense up the. Yep. It misses. Twenty one. It misses. Twenty one. Right? Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Wait, if it's a reaction for me being targeted, wait, does that mean I could just ignore that then? Uh, <laughs> that's the type. One reaction when you are hit by your attack or targeted by a magic missile. Actually, I don't believe you can do reactions in your turn. Uh, no, wait, I'm pretty sure I can't. Well, anyway, I, it misses it anyway. Miss anyway. It would miss anyway. Don't worry about okay, it. Okay, so ignore, ignore that then. Um. Anyway, I'm fourth, fourth level landing bolt yeah. again. Because so I would have had not? to roll the hit before his shield came up. So. Roll 96. Yep, so. Hey, let's... hard, you gotta take a 68 damage. <laughs> I've been rolling plus two for this, if I recall. Yes. Uh, Fuck, 15. Oh. Yeah, 15. Yeah, that, must, that, that feels. Because yep, I have a 16. Uh, my spell C of 10 is 15. So, 68. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the con save. We got con save. It passes. It's okay. still up in the air. That's fine. Anyway, yeah. That's the C. That's my turn done. That's okay. my turn done. Jelly bean turn. Well, I have no spells left for fourth and fifth level, so have fun, guys. I'm just gonna be casting my third <laughs> level spells now. It is moving there. That's all fine there. Oh, I on her Epic Game Store. I don't want to talk to you right now. Turn 15, 20. Oh no. That can't, that can't go there. I moved that because 
That is actually Damn, the no. person would be inside the mouth, if I recall. Yeah, so, that looks like it would. Five, it's on the ten, lips, 15, basically. 20. 5, 10, 15, 20. So basically, you have to go here. Oh my god, you're going to kill her! Uh, actually, yeah, that's a good point. 15, 20. Oh no, this one's gonna go here. And that one's gonna go there. Because it isn't focusing Cody is too much of a problem. In fact, if anything, it sees the dragon as, and Miasma is a bigger problem right now. Given Miasma's actually been targeting it. The fucking excuse me? The fucking excuse me? Oh yeah, no, you did. To be fair, you did attack it as well. I summoned the dragon! <laughs> and I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm insulted that this thing's not seen me as a threat! So, I suppose you know, that's I just, relevant information. I just noticed, uh... Santa, what was that one spell thing that the you The vast majority of them, I <laughs> I don't think any of them hit, actually. None of them hit God. Oh, yeah, the one spell thing that I cast earlier, Aura of Life, that Cody has moved outside of, yeah. yeah uh, that's a problem. I was going to ask you how much Wait, do I who, who's that on? work with that? That's Alo. You don't, you don't heal at all. It's only if yeah, you go mind. down to Sorry, zero, Alo. you go back ah. up to one. Okay. Uh, 20, Alo. 20? Of course that hit. Yep. Sorry, Alo. I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not a dream or moon. Druid, uh, so I don't get spear guide. Uh, free bludgeoning and eight acidic. Feel blessed to be a wizard that's a high level, at least a decent level, because as far as I know, wizards at low level are piss and they fall over if you blow on them. <laughs> Unfortunately, you say that, but shield. Yeah, shield. I have shield. That's the thing. Uh, dragon wise, nineteen. And a nat 20. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, no, wait, a nat 20's on Alok. Uh, Yule, sorry. Oof. I forgot that one was attacking yep. Yule, so... It's a 19 on the dragon. The 19 hits. Yep, so let's do the dragon first, quickly. Uh, the dragon is taking... Uh, 11 bludgeoning and 2 ascetic. He's still up. Yep, uh, Yule's, you will be taking... 18 bludgeoning and 5 acidic. Yours is still up. Miasma. Yeah, what's up? What's the, what's the roll? <laughs> 22. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll take the damage. What's what's the damage? It doesn't matter. Even if I do, do shield, it uh, doesn't matter. 10 bludgeoning and 5 acidic. Okay, what's minus 15 to. That's 30... No, it's fucking 27. Jesus Christ. Wait, why did I go to that? Oh well, 27. There you go. Merry Christmas. Have a good night. I feel bad. <laughs> it is the mouth's turn. The mouth is... Well, first things first. God damn it. It's recharged. <laughs> Fuck off! The worst point is, I nerfed this so it can only recharge on a six. <laughs> so next but you're turn, a lucky we'll... fucker! On next turn, I guess we're getting a couple more jelly beans. Alright, you know what? I'm sorry, Dion, but if I need to, I'm gonna fucking spawn a black tentacles all over this bastard so it can get at me. That hits Cody. It does. And uh, my suffering. Slash R three D six. Okay. So does that go off? No, that doesn't go off. So you watch it as it just extends its tongue and just kinda slaps Cody with it. Huh. Cody took eight damage. <laughs> you just be like, Bleh. I should I should have checked to see if it got a uh, crit because technically it is flanking. It did not get a. 
It did not get a crit, it got a nat 1, but that doesn't affect it here because it was with advantage. Eels. It is your turn, Santa. Um. Oops, sorry. Correct me if I'm wrong, but all of this is one entity, right? I uh, hurt. Yeah, it seems to be like the heart is the thing that's keeping this lot going. Like, the whelps aren't their own individual-minded creatures. They are not, no. Well, okay, I'm gonna sorry. try this. Um... Okay, mm now I'm not gonna try it. It'll it probably wouldn't work. Um in that case I am actually going to wait a second, hold on. Is that a So so the thing holding the heart up those are veins and tubes, right? Yes, they are. But I have to give it a heart they connect to fine. They connect to a ceiling, right? Yep. Oh, well, that's just easy. Okay. Um, Jules is going to just grab a small piece of phosphorus from his pouch, and Jules right where the tubes meet the ceiling going through it he is going to go ahead and he is going to cast wall of fire at fourth level <laughs> um okay. and so from the ceiling down towards the heart yep. 60 feet getting the tubes connecting it and whatnot um i'm assuming the heart can't make a dexterity saving throw it has been doing so at the moment by swaying but it's been doing so with this yeah advantage. but this is yeah, but this is hitting quite literally its swaying thing, and the dexterity saving throw on this would require to move out from the wall. But this is more so attacking the tube that's connecting the heart to everything else. I'll leave, I'll leave it up to you if you wanted to make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, It'll do so, but with this event. Actually, no, wait, because the wall remains up. It's not like it's trying to yep. sway out the way of the lightning bolt yeah. that will be there and then gone. So, yeah, it would just be swaying straight back into this flame. Cool. So he's going to take 5d8 fire damage. But on a side of the wall selected by me when I cast the spell, I can deal 5d8 fire damage to each creature that ends its turn within 10 feet of that side or inside the, the wall. He's uh, inside the wall. So he's... So, when you say 60 foot, is that, like, from roof to floor, or, like, from side to side? Uh, yeah. That'll be, um, so 60 foot is the, hold on. 60 foot is the side to side. Okay, uh, what's the height of it? Yeah. Uh, the height is 20 feet high. Okay, so... Yeah. But I'm also be... considering because it's tubes. Oh, yeah, no, like, the tubes only const count for like five or ten foot of this thing so you would also be hitting the heart itself with this too sweet so that is 10d8 fire damage total yep uh roll your um i will roll le damage and i know it's and i know he's resistant correct yep okay cool so i will have that after i roll it so Roll. Thank God that I play Call of Cthulhu. Oh my God, I can just hear all of those. <laughs> um, that is going to be 58 points of fire damage. Halved, that will be... 29. That will be 29 points of fire damage. Yep. Um... Yes. And... 
We're not done yet, kiddos. We are not done yet. Um, because Yules gets his fire bonus, he gets to do an extra D8 to one of those attack dice. Um, so that'll be a extra seven points of fire damage. So in total, that will be 36. 36. So an extra seven, that would mean that would be halved by that and that. Oh, wait, so yeah, the seven the seven would be halved. Yeah. Yeah, so it would be 33. There you are right. I Just apologize. Sure. And with that, it is choosing to fail its con save. And you watch as the veins just elongate a stretch and the heart actually touches down on the ground. <laughs> which gets it out of the way of the wall of fire but it does mean it can't do its volley attack anymore it can still shoot also, but it can't do like the giant AoE stuff it isn't its mouth right below it? Uh, no, it's here it's on this giant fleshy platform oh, okay. Right okay I didn't realize that was a platform yep, that's why you got the bomb walls thing, like the little bomb bridges to get over there so yep. I need to now remove that and see how many turns it's going to be down on the ground for. That is a lot of turns. <laughs> One turn! <laughs> so guess what? At the end of its turn, it's having to retract back up into that fire. Hmm. I will actually ask if Aloe will notice this. Uh, the wall of flames? Yes. Yes. It's quite obvious it's a giant wall of flames on the roof, and then you just hear this giant poof as this heart just lands on the floor. Ah, yes. Aloe immediately gets a slightly evil grin on her face. Because that's on the ceiling. Yes. It's almost as if I, I didn't take right into account <laughs> firewalls. <laughs> Which Aloe can totally use. Yeah. And you just need a solid surface, Aloe, and that is a solid surface. Also, I so, just realized that it's the dragon's turn. We're going to be rotisserie cooking Shit, a heart. It is, the, it is the dragon's turn. Okay, before I go BRB, I'll go ahead and make his... Um, we're just going to say... Ooh. No. No, that'd be bad. We're just gonna You know what, because I've gotta go, I'm just gonna go ahead and just make a normal attack on this dude. Okay. Um so I'm just gonna go ahead and roll. That is an eighteen. That's a hit. Alrighty. Um the physical damage is going to be uh twelve and then Added with the piercing already have will be 14. Okay. Full damage. Okay, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so that thing is still up, but um, it's looking almost in shreds. It's the heart's turn. The heart will have to retreat up into the wall of flames after this. But let's see how many shots first. Also, I apologize if this boss fight hasn't been fun. Oh no, it's been fun. Uh, also, didn't you say that it can't do its volley thing while it's on the ground? It can't do the AOE ones. It can't spend them on the AOE, so it'll just uh... be individual shots. So it's getting five individual shots. How do I spread this out? Two on the dragon, one on Yules, one on Miasma, one on Aloe. One D twenty plus I why am I checking the window? It's in notepad. I made this thing. Sixteen and a thirteen on the dragon. On oh, Yules it's a twenty. On oh, Miasma it's an eighteen. On oh, Aloe it's a nineteen. Ooh. If I recall right, uh Ah, Inferno went BRB too. Wow, it's just us two. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? 
So the 19 hits you, I'm assuming. Yeah. So you... I'll roll your damage first while I wait for the rest of them to get back. Okay. Uh, you will be taking... Uh, hi, Zach. Hi, Zach. How you doing? Only three damage. Uh, Miasma, an 18 on you. 18? Yep. To hit you. 18, yep. like... To hit. No. No. Shield? No. What the <laughs> No, no, can't sleep. It's not the right spell, sorry. I know what you're after, you're after shield. That's fine. Yeah. So that will not hit you. And Inferno is sending hard coding, she wants sleep. <laughs> I mean, that does explain like the sleepiness of the voice. Uh, to be fair, if I could get back down to like the beginning of the round, I may call it here because we've been recording for two hours, as is. But to do that, I kind of need Santa back because I forget what the AC of the dragon is. I don't remember. Okay, I'm back. Cyber. Oh, thank you. Oh, he is there. Hi. Uh, so let me Hi, just check these things to remind myself. Uh, Dude. A 16 oh. and a 13 on the dragon. And a 20 on yours. Uh, the, neither the 16 nor the 13 will hit the dragon. Okay. Because I had made that mistake earlier with the 15. Yep. And then what was the one on the yules? 20. That'll hit. Uh, yours is taking five half down to two. Hmm. And then it gets to... Cordy's turn. Cordy is going to go ham, as usual. Bop. Hits. Defender wins. Oh. Um, well, saw two hits. Dealing a whole of... 32 damage. So that is left that on that. Oh no, wait, no, no, no. Sorry. I was doing that wrong. Cordy won't have been attacking them. Cordy won't be attacking the mouth, so it's still a defender wins, but it's still 32 damage to the mouth. Ow. Oh. So, uh, I'm sorry, I just. Uh, I'll take the end of this, take the rest of this. Gold. Uh, there we go. And given that we're getting back to the top of the round, since we've been recording for two hours as it is, and given mm -hmm. we've come down to all the different yeah. ways, this may be a good place for us to hold it off for this week. Very off, much so. I hope I've done at least a decent amount of damage, I can just spamming lightning bolt. Uh, I'll say this, yes. Okay, good. Quite a I lot, wish I had my familiar. I was going to say, I, w I wish I had my familiar, because then I could continue using shock and grass afterwards. I, I just left the fact that it's Even. like, oh yeah, I'll set this map up, so it's got a uh, way for those that only do melee to get over and do their stuff on this guy. So many jelly bean creatures have been spawning that they haven't been able to, yeah. but the rage attacks are working <laughs> magically. The what attacks? The ranged. Like all the spells. Yeah, the ranged. Yeah, the range attacks are fine. Like, honestly, I have three more turns before I go down to 16 AC again if I need to keep using shield. So I'm fine generally, but it's the others I'm more so worried about. Like I'm worried about what the fuck's going on and like next to Cody. I feel bad for Cody, but the problem is if I stop like, my general assault on the heart, keep spawning I'll... fucking lightning bolt to give it a heart attack. I'll say this. Cody but, you know, may be just about below half HP, but she's doing fine. But I'm below half HP her. as well. These things are hardly hitting her, so it's fine. That's let's fine. Just, let's just say once Aloe's turn rolls around and I cast Firewall underneath the heart. Yeah, the Firewall underneath <laughs> the heart's gonna slow roost it. Like, we're oh, basically oh, just turning into Heart's Barbecue. This is the issue. 
you've got the fire above and the fire below. And given that it's 20 foot there and 20 foot there, and the room itself is 50 foot tall, that leaves only like 10 foot of space in between it. <laughs> and this thing's 15 foot tall. Zach, I know it's it's going to be dangling context, in but... one fire one way or the other, and exactly. it's going to be zap. Zach, I, Zach, I know this completely out of context, but I know since you're here. This is this is why we don't is fuck Zach with alone? the dragons. Uh, this is Zach. something else I'll need to ask as well when we get mm -hmm. to that time. Zach. Oh, he is here. Good. Uh, how wide? Fixed is the How long Sorry. are the walls? Uh, they can be twenty foot high and they can be twenty foot around. And they are sixty foot wide. And yeah. exactly uh, sorry, one sixty foot, foot long. Thing. So if you did it though, you'd be hitting Dude. the two little jelly beans as well. Yep. But yes, we are leaving it there, given like we skipped the intro, we'll skip the outro as well, because there's not many of us. This is the um for um, star for too oh, long. Go to bed. I milk a cup of coffee for you. Water. <laughs> water. 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 So, I'll see you next time on The Devil Darlings. Piss off!